Okay. I've now got an x value uh, that corresponds to here. This is x equals 3, which means that the base of my triangle here is going to be 3. Okay, so that's great. I've got the base, but I also need the height. Where am I going to go to to find out the height of this triangle? There's a couple of different ways. How will I do this? Any suggestions? And this time I'm not just looking for an answer, I'm looking for where I'm getting it. Okay, so I'm substituting in, yes, this is an x value, remember, x equals 3. Where am I going to sub it into? Well, um, some of you have said, uh, Rosemary, I see you've written sub it into y, but keep in mind, I've got two different equations here. y equals um, the blue one, and then y equals the red one. And uh, hopefully most of you guys have realized, okay, the red one is going to be much easier. I could do either, because remember, this is an intersection point. So this point, this one right here, it lives on both curves, so I might as well choose the one that's easier to me. So I'm going to say when x equals 3, y equals 3 as well, because I'm just substituting it into y equals x. So now, oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to move that. Now I've got coordinates, yippee. I'm going to write that in, 3 comma 3. So we worked out that the base was 3, and the height of this is also 3. So you can see this uh, diagram is not exactly to scale, um, or at least not uh, vertically and horizontally. There's a bit of a stretch here. But now I'm done. Um, oh, sorry, that's the, the mouse out of the way. Is that, hold on, is that better? There we go, Ashan, happy now? <laughs> sorry, my mistake. Thank you for your attention to detail. Okay, so now I've got a height. I've got a, uh, a width, a base, I should have said. Now I'm, um, I'm ready to calculate this area. So, A1. I could have worked it out with an integral, um, but I don't need to. I can just say it's base times height on 2, which is, in this case, 3 times 3 on 2, 9 on 2, that's going to be 4 and a half. Done. So there's a 1, okay? Now I need a 2. So this is to do with the parabola, right? This is to do with y equals 4 minus x squared on 9. Now. Thankfully, in this case, I've done half of the work. I know where my integral for this guy is going to start. It's going to start at x equals 3. But now I need an endpoint, and uh, that's this coordinate over here. I don't know what that's equal to. How am I going to find it? How am I going to evaluate this guy? Any takers? I'm looking for this value on the right-hand side. Okay, fantastic, Jonah. Well done. So to get this guy over here, the thing that's critical about it is it's an x-intercept of the parabola. And the way we find x-intercepts of all different curves is to let y equal 0. So I'm going to let y equal 0 for this blue curve up here. So instead of y equals 4 minus x squared on 9, I'm going to do 0 equals 4 minus x squared on 9. So let's have a go at that. Nice try, Sean. Uh, it looks can be deceiving, right? So I'm going to write this to find x intercept y equals 0, as Joanna has suggested. So remembering that this is the equation 4 minus x squared on 9, I'm going to solve 4 minus x squared on 9 equals 0. Okay, so I've deliberately crafted this uh, equation to give us some nice numbers. I wonder if you're starting to simplify this already. If I add x squared on 9 to both sides, I'm going to get this. I'm now going to multiply through by 9, somewhat like how I did the other time. So this gives me 36. And now I have two values here that solve this. So I've got plus or minus the square root of 36, which is, of course, 6. Now, just like before, I've got two values and I only want one of them, right? Only one is relevant to me. Uh, I'm going to skip the, uh, the audience participation for this bit because you gave me the answer previously. How do I work out which one it is? You come back to your graph, right? And this is on the positive side of the x-axis. So that gives me an x value of x equals 6 right here, okay? So now I've got my lower boundary, it's 3. I've got my upper boundary, 6, so now I can identify the integral, this is the second step, right? I can identify the integral that will give me a 2, so let's give that a go. Therefore, a 2 is going to be an integral from where to where? Lower bound 3, upper bound 6. Uh, what is the integrand, the thing that we're integrating? It's the parabola, right? 4 minus x squared on 9 with respect to x. 
and then off you go. So here's what we'll do. Um, I'm gonna give you a, uh, a 20 second head start to go ahead and integrate this and evaluate uh, at six and then at three, and then I'm gonna start putting my working there. So you're on the clock, have a shot, and then I'll show you what the answer should turn out to be. Off you go. And um, once you do get a value, by the way, maybe don't post it, but give us a thumbs up um, if you're already there, perhaps. Maybe you were working ahead and you're already um, too efficient for me. Don't spoil the answer just yet. Just give us a thumbs up when you are ready. Fantastic, good. I'm just gonna play catch up. I actually gave you way more than 15 seconds. You're welcome. Come on, I gave you a massive head start and I'm already there. Okay, maybe you were, to be fair, maybe you were catching up with some of your notes. Um, this is what I've got for A2. All right, so um, at this point, I've, I'm almost finished, right? I've done my, I have my sketch, I, I drew all over it to work out what was going on. I identified, in the first case, I could just use the area of a triangle. Um, <laughs> okay, Jason, you can thumbs down, but I, I'll help you from here. Um, and then I identified the integral that was related to A2. So I'm ready to go to combine and conclude this. I can say, therefore, zoom back in, um, the total area, <clears throat> is, I think we said the first one was four and a half, right? So it's gonna be four and a half plus five, which gives me nine and a half square units, like so, done ski, okay? <laughs> 